using conferences in Canvas. So click on the conference link, click on the new conference, and you first decide who's gonna be in this. Is it the whole class or just some members? Think about whether you wanna enable recording for this for posterity or for students who aren't there. Let's call this conference test. And let's think about how long we're gonna make this. In this case, I'm just gonna make it 30 minutes and that seems like enough. So I'll update that. And then I get the screen where I can click start and we've just started the conference right now. The first screen you'll see is how you wanna join the audio. Um, I always am gonna choose the microphone, but realize the students see this screen too. So they, you may only want them to listen only or use their microphone and realize they can also join these by their phone. Uh, I'm going to click allow for my microphone and then there's a little echo test sometimes I'm going to say in this case it was echoing so I'm going to click OK. It was echoing and then after that we're ready to go. The next thing you notice is there's a mute and unmute button by clicking the same thing there. Uh, that's really important because I think we want the students and ourselves to be able to um, not pick up distracting background audio. Next, you'll notice there's a chat that's taking place there. So that is a public chat. And you can see the students are filling up the chat with their wisdom, but we could use that in a lot of different ways. Uh, these students were just testing this out. FYI, there's a lot, they're a lot more um, articulate than that. You can also see that if you click on your own um, avatar there, you can set your status. So there are things like you can raise your hand, uh, you can signal that you're away from the computer for a second. Um, you can say that you're confused or sad or happy or things like that, which seems like useful information for people to communicate to you, especially, I would say, the raise hand feature. Another feature you'll notice over on the left side um, below messages and above users is the shared notes feature which you know, I have to say is a little distracting at times because everybody can write in that document at the same time, so sometimes they're overwriting each other. Uh, if you're wondering how many notes that panel can hold, um, Michael Stokes tested and found that the entire script of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith actually can fit in there. So there doesn't seem to be a limit to the number of notes students can add or teachers can add to the shared notes feature. You and your students can um, see each other. So you can turn on your webcam and share that. So I am turning on my webcam right now. And the students can also join me. So if you want to be able to see them, uh, it's possible. And finally, the last feature that I think is really useful is to be able to share my screen. So in this case, let's say I wanted to give some feedback to a student who um, has a piece of writing here. Uh, I can share the screen with them and I could, in Canvas then, I could uh, annotate the document or um, we can just have a discussion about it. So I think sharing the screen is another feature that's worthwhile. Now it's time to end the meeting. So I'm gonna go up top right, click end meeting, and I'm gonna say yes, and realize the last thing that the students can do and you can do is give feedback on the meeting. So you can give some stars and some comments.